so this patient's coming in for assessment of a large swollen area on the underside of his foot. How long has this been present for now? Since October. Since October. So, which begs the question why this has been left going this long. And sometimes this is part of the problem with the system we work within. People get worried about what it could be and there's a reticence to sort of move into it. It's been ultrasound. It's a fluctuant mass. And I think at this stage of the game, we're going to have to see if we can open it and see what we're dealing with. Is this infected material? It doesn't look overly red, if you can see, but really quite distended. Um, we've added some freezing along this line. Um, you've seen enough of these procedures to know that if there's a lot of infection, the freezing doesn't work so well. And the other problem is when it's swollen like this, we add a lot of pressure in when we actually put that in together with that. So what we're going to do now is see if we can incise gently along this line and sort of see what we're, what we're dealing with and then sort of move from there. You okay when I do that? So this is serosanguinous drainage. You can tell that's all pussy material is coming out. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So again, why is it so darkened? Because it's oxidized. You okay? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So this is why the freezing didn't work very well. And it's really uncomfortable for him when it's just swollen. So again, you can sort of think, just add more freezing, but you'll make him more and more uncomfortable. Sorry. Do we have a curette here? I can bring. Yeah, just grab one for me. When I push on this side, does it hurt much? No. Not too bad. How about around here? A little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So obviously I'm not going to freeze all the way over here, because that's what you have to freeze for. No, that's what I'm saying to you, yeah. I won't do that to you. So the freezing we put in was really uncomfortable for him. This will feel better once we're done with this. Which size you want? Small. Small. Uh, Let's see if I can extend this a little bit. Does that hurt what I'm doing right now? No. Okay. So I'm extending this just a little bit to sort of be, yeah. Yeah. So you can see how opening that up, cutting through it didn't hurt him, but when I put pressure on it, it hurts. You're doing well. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can use a small kit. It doesn't feel like it's very loculated. Does that hurt when I do that? Not, not right now, no. Okay. So this is a balance between trying to break it down and not be too aggressive. With a little pressure there. Yeah. That's usually what'll happen after we actually break down some loculations. We'll get a little bit more drainage through there. Okay, I'm going to irrigate this now. I'm going to put some fluid into it. Oh. Can you give me a swab right as well, please? Sure. Sorry. 
I'm almost done. So essentially I want to just change it in different directions, see if we can syringe it out and clear as much infected tissue as we can. So again, from a swab perspective, we want to clean that out as much as possible before we do our swab. Little pressure there. Is that hurting? Not too bad. Yeah. Because we're trying to find live bacteria here. There we go. That really sensed it all through here. This side, not so bad. Not too bad at all. So this is an entire pock that'll have to collapse. So we're going to see him back tomorrow for sure. Um, Rada, do you want to grab me some uh, ribbon gauze? So we used to pack these for a long time. What I'm going to do is just put packing in just for today. So we'll see him back tomorrow. Um, and then we'll take that out and hopefully not put any more in. Are you on an antibiotic right now? No. Okay. Had they put you on one at one point, I imagine? No. Uh, I was on the proxy for two weeks. So even when they saw you way back in October, no one realized it? No, they didn't see anyone in October. Oh, okay. What's in the this one is a little bit bigger, but can fit. Uh, could, but not ideal. Do we not have the smaller one in? How much meat took the loss? I just want to see how we tolerate it, because that's the problem with shoving it in for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay there? Yeah, I think, oh, actually, no, they're all big for some reason. I it's okay, I just need to get a little bit in, that's all. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bear with me, I'm just putting some packing in. Okay. Uh. Sorry. That's all I'm going to do. So and this is why we don't do uh, packing long term anymore. You can see how uncomfortable this is for him even with some freezing on board. So in subsequent days it'd be even worse. So she's going to put a dressing on that for you and then um, tomorrow, what is tomorrow? Saturday. So, so Saturday, Saturday I'm in clinic night. tomorrow. So just show up in the clinic and I'll see you then. And then we'll sort of clean this up and then he'll start to heal and then we'll be better with that. Okay, we're good.